This story is about how our engineering company got brought in to help design this soapbox race cart. For more clarity, let's start from the beginning. This year, Red Bull hosted a soapbox race right here in our hometown of Salt Lake City, Utah. This event brings together local teams who built insanely creative race carts without motors. They send them flying down a steep hill packed with jumps, turns, and obstacles. The goal? Make it to the bottom fast and impress the crowd and judges with creativity, speed, and style. But as you can see, it doesn't always go as planned. So as the applications for this race became available, two YouTubers applied and got accepted to participate. Meet Marston and Heber, better known as the Buttery Bros. Their channel is all about fitness, filmmaking, and jumping headfirst into wild adventures. For their soapbox design, their vision was to make it look like a stick of melting butter, but turning their concept into a reality would take some work. They started by gathering a team of people who knew how to build things and purchased this go-kart to use for its frame. Then they removed the engine, installed the brakes, remade a new steel frame and swapped out the wheels. The structure was coming together, but there was still one thing they needed to figure out. How do we make the outer shell of this look like a stick of butter. I can get wheels, I can reframe this whole thing, but I can't design it to look like a yellow stick of butter sliding down the mountain. And this is where we come in. I think you could get anyone that would 3D print us some like butter drips to go on the side. I might know a guy. This is Ben at Go Engineer. Oh, what's up, Ben? Hey, buttery bros. Uh, I was wondering if you would be willing to throw us some 3D parts. You need 3D printed butter drips on your race cart, pancake for wheels, and you need it in a couple days? I got gotcha. you. <laughs> okay then. As soon as I got off the phone, I jumped into designing their custom parts in SolidWorks. Once I finished, I sent the butter drip CAD files to our Stratasys H350 printer, where it fuses the nylon powder together layer by layer and can mass produce high quality parts fast. After I finished printing, I pulled the build off the printer and began breaking apart the powder cake. I dusted the majority of the excess powder off, which can be recycled and reused for the next build. Then I take the parts to be post-processed in the Dimension PowerShot C. This machine bead blasts any of the remaining powder off and gives you that extra smooth finish. While I worked on these, I had the pancakes and letters printing in FDM on the Stratasys F770. All I had to do was hit print, wait a few hours, then pop the parts off the build tray and they were ready to go. Once all the parts were finished, it was time to pass them off to the Buttery Bros. What have we got here today? So you did it. Yeah. 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 You ever created this much drip before? No. You got the Butter Believe It up on the front. Yep. Now, these gonna... letters look awesome. Yeah. So we got the syrup with the butter stick in the middle. Exactly. This so. is going to take it to a whole nother level. It's yeah. going to be exciting. Thank, Thank you, you so much for doing that, Thank man. Thank you guys so much. Hey, how'd those uh, prints for the Rebel Race go? It went really well. They actually just came and picked them up. Oh, cool. Can I see it? Sure. So here we have SolidWorks. We actually designed the butter drips, uh, the letters butter believe it, and the wheels that are in shape of pancakes. Um, so they're gonna basically take our models that we gave them and they're gonna glue them and paint them for their cart. Cool. Kids are doing great.
Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, I don't like that. Go. That's not good. Yeah. We probably should run a simulation on that to uh, let them know that was going to happen. Yeah. Well, there's always next time. Yeah. At least the cart looked good. <laughs> <laughs>